Hi everyone, it's Denny here from Angel Handmade Papercraft. Today I am working with Time for Tea Designs and I am using Geeky Glasses. This young lady is currently in the clearance section, so she will be on sale. Um, I will have links underneath my video and on my blog post, so please go and check it out. So I have already coloured this image up. I will have a link to all of the Copic markers that were used on the image again on the blog post um, and this is just a little something of putting the card together so I am using papers from Echo Park Head Over Heels collection so I'm just having a flick through trying to decide what I'm going to use in the card this is a little six by six paper pad so I'm just I thought I'd leave all this in so you guys can see my thought process I try to use up all of the little extra pieces that I have um, leftovers from other projects. So that's where all the strips come from. And I generally do this with most of my projects. I leave all the leftovers inside the paper pad and um, I go from there. So this uh, Celebrate die cut is from a My Favourite Things die cut. I'll have that linked up as well. And as is the Stitched Heart. So I run those through my Sizzix Big Shot. The Celebrate, I just used some uh, leftover Express It blending card for that, just so that would be the same white as what the image is. So I'm just having a play around, trying to work out what I'm going to do. Grabbing a doily, you know, guys know that I love my doilies. I actually have to start restocking those soon, I don't have a lot of them left. And I am using a My Favourite Things stamp set called um, Always and Forever. I wanted to use the big love word. So I'm just giving it a quick clean up with my chamois just to make sure. It's the first time I've actually used it. So I always like to clean my stamps before I use them. And of course clean them afterwards. So I'm going to use my uh, Tim Holtz guillotine just to trim that down. And... That's it all trimmed up. Now I'm using some Lawn Fawn acrylic blocks um, to stamp those out. Okay, so I've got these gorgeous little uh, filigree stars from La La Land Crafts. Um, I will have those linked up as well. And I'm using some of that leftover pink ombre cardstock. I thought it would be nice to have it all matchy matchy. And I'm just having a play here with a few of the different size stars, trying to work out what I'm going to do. Sorry, that's not on screen. I'm sort of playing in front of me at the same time here. So I did grab some of that blue and I did switch one of those stars out. So now I'm using my EK Success Cutter B Scissors to banner one of those strips. Using some American Tombow Mono Multi for the little stars. You don't need a lot of this adhesive. It is very, very sticky. And um, yeah, you don't need a lot on there. So that's the stars all stuck down and I'm just working my way through adhering each of the bits and pieces trying to work out where it's going to go. Adding just a tiny little bit to all of that word dye making sure that it is all coated. Making sure it's all nice and straight. Adhering the love word. So I'm doing this nice and quickly so I'm still able to sort of fiddle them a little tiny bit. Using some Scotch ATG for the strips. Adhering those all together and I'll cut off any excess that's left over. Making sure that it's all nice and straight. And then I just realised that I didn't have any adhesive underneath the doily so I'm just adding some liquid adhesive under there. And then I'll place it all down making sure it's all straight and then I'll use my EK Success scissors just to cut all that excess off. Turning it over so I can see exactly where I'm cutting. And I just pulled all the excess Scotch ATG off that little piece so that I could use it again on another project. So I did notice here my image wasn't completely straight, so I'm carefully trying to pull it up the best that I can just to straighten it up. And then just adhering it back down. Alright, popping all of my goodies away. Now this is a Kucha Creations card base. They do um, come flat, so I just use my bone folder to score it out, making sure that it's nice and flat. And then I'm going to adhere this piece down to the front of the card and then I will move on to decorating the inside. So I do decorate all the insides of my cards, I just don't usually bother taking photos of them. So this is my card for today, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all soon, bye!